Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel, hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you all, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading, please read the description box as it is very detailed and will tell you what channels to follow. I also have another channel, by the way. If you guys are interested in collective signs, which gives you an all sign reading, prophetic messages and or art sign reads, then be sure to head on over there to subscribe as well. Also, this channel, okay? Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. To all my new and returning subscribers, welcome, okay? So, starting off with this read, the gist that I'm getting here is that someone wants you to apologize for your growth that you've had to step aside to build yourself aside from them. That's what I'm getting here. Someone wants you to apologize for your growth and not including them in you winning, okay? If that makes any sense. The sign that we do have here is like fire energy with this Taurus card. But Taurus is like a direct energy that I'm getting at this time. So it looks like there could be someone that is an Aries or something that's relevant to the month of April that could be resourceful for you to uh, cling on to. I'm getting that you're starting to explore being practical and productive in your life. I'm hearing that you're focusing on the things um, that requires your your time, your energy, your focus, and it's anything that's home-based. Any support, organic support that you get that is within your uh, your family, your neighbors, your, your children, whatever that may mean for you. I do see here that someone feels like there could be something urgent that's going to happen or has happened that requires someone to step into their power or using resources from a, a Taurus energy to handle some sort of issue, okay? What I am also seeing here is like the number 726. This could be referring to a date, which is July 26th, or this could be timing. Someone could be watching this video at 726 a.m. or p.m. here someone's going to be pleasantly surprised with some sort of message and or compliment or whatever this this might be conversation i'm getting here that two people are very friendly and then we have lovers and courthouse so something here is unofficial but it, it is bringing a really good feeling to the energy right now okay so let's see what's going on what do we need to know here give us clear and concise messages for Virgo for Virgo what is it that Virgo needs to know currently at this time? So we have true love. There is someone that's in your energy or that's about to approach you with some sort of conversation and or catching up with someone if they are familiar to you. But if this is someone new, it's like there's going to be an instant spark. It's like you know there's something deeper than just running into this person. Okay, there's true love that's here. I'm also seeing enjoy quality time that could be very important for you to know. And I see that in this pleasant letter or energy, someone here might see that you're going off to lunch, you're alone, and they see that you're, you know, just indulging in whatever this is that you're doing. You could even be getting some work done on your laptop and or grabbing some coffee and they just stop to have a really quick conversation but then that conversation turns into something more so there's something about 
enjoying quality time and not wasting any time to meet new people, okay? So, let's see if I can grab one more for Virgo and then head deeper into the reading. What's here for Virgo? So we have falling in love. I got this card in the collective read just now. So it's so weird that this is coming out with this true love. So there's someone here that's falling for you and truly falling. It's like their, their uh, mask, if they did have a mask, is falling off or if they've been very standoffish when it comes to showing true, valid emotions, that's no longer going to be existing. Yeah, this person is going to respect your boundaries just as much as you respect theirs. There's going to be a level of respect or an equal give and take. I'm also getting that you're ready for this fresh start. You're ready to take this on. You're ready to allow this person to um, know the ins and outs of you and why you operate the way that you do. Yeah, I don't think that this person has a hidden agenda. Okay. So there's a lot of love in the air at this time. Let's see what else is going on. So you're in this Zen energy. Someone here might have a therapist appointment or maybe scheduling one. Someone could be confiding in someone about what they've gone through in their past situation. Someone might have seen or witnessed their partner cheating on them brought a, a, a female or a male home yeah it could have been someone that was older or more mature i do feel like since you've left this person you've made significant changes and it's in a positive form you've made upgrades you're celebrating and there's a lot else that's going on behind the scenes i think the only component that you're missing is finding someone that's equally compatible compatible to you that you can work with okay tell me more what's here for virgo what is it that virgo needs to know so we have quite a few the first one being the box, you will receive a gift or you will be giving a gift. But I do see that you're going to be receiving some sort of gift here. There is vulture, eye, and gavel. So you might have some sort of great depression or anxiety that someone is out to get you or they're coming after you because of the, the, the gut feeling that you get. Spirit is saying that you should trust your intuition okay there's something going on with the legal system or someone trying to get you involved with the law someone here could be involved with the law here hmm. let's see why we're seeing the vulture eye and gavel hmm. we have the queen of cups and the sun so this is like leo and water energy Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, we do see the Empress. I personally um, tie the Empress to the Virgo. So the reason why I do that is because the sign for Virgo is the Virgin. And as we see the Empress, I see the Virgin as the Empress, okay? Okay. Someone that wants you to get involved with the law or is trying to intimidate you with using the law is a woman that's very dedicated to making someone feel how she feels. She's based out of emotions and acts out of emotion. And I feel like because you are all rays of sunshine and things are going well for you, she wants to put a little niche in your life at this time. Yeah, someone here sees you taking a leap of faith in 
you know, overcoming the things that might have overwhelmed you and wanting to, to set you back, wanting you to have some sort of deep emotion or thought into making your life hard, okay? Tell me more. What else is here for Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to know? So someone here is quick to disown their family members if they don't follow their rules. So someone likes to keep control in that respect. Someone has absolutely no idea what they're doing, but they're, I'm sorry, they're willing to learn. There's some sort of buried secret that someone doesn't want anyone to dig up. Someone's trying to keep their family at a, a arm's length so that they won't dig up any issues that they feel is suspect when it comes to this individual. Okay. Give me one more for Virgo. Look, whatever this, this thing is that they're trying for their family members not to find out is because they can use that information to blackmail this individual. Uh, right now, this person could be going through something where they need spiritual healing, where they can clear the energy and work on themselves before anything bad happens, okay? Spirit is telling you that it's time to walk away from this tainted love. You deserve better. Hmm. Let's see what this is that this person doesn't want you to find out, Virgo, or this could be for you. What do you not want someone to find out? Something that you've done or a decision that you've made? Someone's ashamed of a decision that they made? Or allowing someone to talk them into something? Yeah. I'm hearing being someone's lap dog, doing certain things that you normally wouldn't just to appease someone or because you're being blackmailed here. Hmm. I'm also getting like fire energy, like a jealous, uh, codependent queen of wands and the magician. Someone could be using uh, manipulation, spell work and or mind games to keep someone uh, thinking that they have the power to do certain things that maybe they do, but even if they do, they'll never work. They always need like other people to team up with them to um, upset or intimidate others, okay? What else is going on here? For Virgo. So we have fate, like I said. This person doesn't know what the heck they're doing. They're a rookie at what they do. Whatever occultic practices that they're learning from spiritual leaders, they either got some sort of information from a reader that didn't give them uh, proper information about the mother or father to their children, but it's like this person is praying and hoping that something works out for this person. These individuals... They wanted someone to lose a home that really isn't losing anything. Someone's losing their faith. Someone's going to end up losing their faith and trust in their faith because a love is lost. There's broken promises that have, you know, come through to the light. And now they're only stuck with daydreaming about what their life should look like, but in reality it's the opposite of what this this looks like i'm hearing the person that they're doing spell work or rituals on is the same person that's going to eat them alive with the, the the entity attachment that they placed on this individual so this person needs to sleep with one eye open because everything that they're doing is going to end up backfiring and biting them in the behind because they don't know when to put it down okay What else is here for Virgo? 
So we have resistance. Someone here is resisting taking action towards having some sort of reunion. This could be a, a masculine. He could be in his thoughts about what steps he should take or what his next placement will be and what he's going to do. It looks like he's been working on transcending obstacles and, and looking for the right person to give this offer to, but it's like they always end up getting put back 10 steps further from what they were trying to accomplish because of this individual that they're tied to. This person, this, this karmic, whether feminine or masculine, this person knows that this masculine is trying to make their way back to you, Virgo. So that's why every single time they feel like this person is going to take one step to go towards you, they put this person under some sort of binding spell. Okay, where they have to do the whole process all over again. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. What is it that Virgo needs to know? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. So yeah, there's some sort of rapid change in your finances, career. I do feel like there is generational wealth that's coming in. Someone here that's in this arrogant energy is planning to set you up to get jumped, to record the shit, to put it on social media. So keep your phone locked at all times or having a password because someone's going to come towards you with some sort of violent outburst especially if you're traveling at night be beware what's here so Virgo what is it that Virgo needs to know I'm hearing that someone here could be suffering from PTSD. Someone here could be also pansexual hmm, and likes to play video games or likes to play games with people that play games with them. Someone gives people a taste of their own medicine. There could be someone that you're going to be inviting. There could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that wants to come over to your home, but this is the mole. This is the snitch. Okay. I'm seeing counseling sessions, so someone here is seeing someone that they can confide in or is their therapist. Someone has a certain ritual that they follow every day, whether that's taking medication, doing yoga, going to the gym, checking their social media, taking a walk, coffee, email, checking, or prayer, whatever that may be for you. And I think that that ritual or whatever this is that you do every day keeps you in a good mood and, and, and lifts your spirits. Someone here is going to be officially single and that's somewhat good news for someone. I'm hearing if you're blatantly hating and waiting on my downfall, just be patient and kiss my ass. So someone could be sending you some sort of mail or putting something in your mailbox to send you some sort of message, okay? Someone's getting hired. Congratulations. Someone here is getting hired to a job. Keep your circle small so that you it will be easier for you to build up trust. I'm also seeing that someone is coming towards you with some sort of pure or honest intentions to get you to compromise. I'm also getting this karmic is threatening the DM to get info on the divine feminine. So this person may be sent in by the, the karmic, um, who very well could be the divine masculine, to come in at 3 a.m. to get some intel on you, okay? They could be sent for that, but um, they have their own agenda, okay? I'm also getting 
someone could have uh, got a haircut recently or went shorter when it comes to their hairstyle. We have place, travel lodge, hotel. So yeah, someone is like in some sort of disguise. Someone might have disguised themselves for some reason or is going for a newer look. Hmm. Something is a touchy or sensitive subject. Let's see what that is. Touchy or sensitive subject. Okay, the breakup, separating. Um, wanting a change or coming to a peaceful resolution with it. Someone's upset because they allowed someone to get the best of them or to overpower them or overtake them, but that's only because they didn't believe this person would do this, okay? So this is a person that's a sheep in wolf's clothing. If it's a question of my heart, then you got it. It don't belong to anyone but you. So it looks like this person is gonna end up pouring their heart out to you and trying to clear the air or their name. We have a cheater, so um, someone has seen their mo mother or father cheat on one another, and that makes that a family bloodline situation or um, problem. Someone here might want to get some alterations to their body. I do see the BBL or breast augmentation. Someone here wants to either go uh, smaller or bigger, so that there might be some sort of ultimatum. Yeah. You can tell in someone's body language that things have shifted or things are not the same. Someone could be from the black community, okay? We also have taking a break. Someone here could be taking a break from someone that's only putting on a front for others. Yeah, that's bringing someone some sort of social anxiety. So you'd rather indulge in content energy. There's some sort of fake documents that's going on or fake uh, followers. Someone could be buying followers to appease a group of people. There's going to be a financial increase or benefits that's coming in for you that's going to give you a level of encouragement. Yep, someone might have falsified documents about custody, full custody to a father. Yeah, someone falsified documents about how much money they make Someone is lying about how much they make so that they will get full custody of their children. But then someone here is going to counteract this custody battle with the father and try to get full custody with the mother. Yeah. Someone here regrets being with someone that they knew didn't have anything going for them at the time when they met this person and or someone could be losing their apartment or shelter. This person could have male distinctive features, facial hair. Hmm. All right. Let's get into the reading to see what's going on. What do we need to know? showing up so there's something that's going to happen very quickly or there could be some sort of travel or move that's happening very quickly this fire sign could be coming in very quickly towards you or coming in with some sort of communication about uh, being the wounded warrior or falling for someone's trickery yeah this could be someone in their family or someone that they work with or make money with or this could be a, a lover here, okay? I am getting that someone's bringing another person down in the energy and someone can't stand it anymore, okay? Someone would rather be single and free and not have any titles, okay? Someone liked it better when they were dating this person instead of being in a relationship with this in individual. I'm also getting the Four of Swords. Yeah, someone's tr ready to call it quits. Someone wants to walk off, okay? But they can't, okay? Someone's not in a position for things to be so easy. Let's see, what's this page of wands? 
We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm getting that there's not, there's, there isn't a balance of, you know, the level of energy or effort that's being put into a situation. So one person's doing more than the other. Okay, there is no joint effort in a dynamic or situation anymore. And I think that this person here just wants to take their, their L, take their losses and be on their merry way because someone is just taking them for a fool. This person feels like they're bending over backwards just to be with this person and to make sure that they're happy. But what about them? Okay. Yeah, someone's ready to let go here with the six of swords. What's this king of pentacles in reverse? Hmm. We have the knight of cups with the ten of pentacles in the, in the middle of the deck with the hierophant. Someone doesn't even trust their person anymore since they've uh, found out about some sort of indiscretion or infidelity. Hmm. Yeah, someone let allowed another individual to come into their home and slept with their person. This is why someone is going to see a therapist. Because it, it, it drove someone to um, being going insane. Okay. Yeah, someone is not happy. I'm hearing this person has a lot of passion, but not for the person that you think. And they feel like this is someone's karma. This is their karma. For not choosing right. Someone feels merely responsible for everything, but they hold that shit all inside. They have to be strong because they have children or they have children to, to worry about or think about. Yep, I can't make this up. So yeah, justice prevails. There will be some sort of karma that happens at this time with the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords is very significant. This person could have been dibbling and dabbling between two people because the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups have been very significant and also the Queen of Pentacles, which is you, Virgo, okay? So this person has a type. This person picks queens that have potential but cannot make a sound decision on the queen that he wants to be with. But now he's starting to realize he doesn't want someone that has too many emotions, but rather has balance. And they don't want someone that's too cutthroat. They need somebody that, that's going to balance them out. That's what I've noticed in these readings. I can't speak for anybody else, but like from the readings that I've done, there are three queens that's like significant. And as I said before, it's the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, which is you Virgo, and the Queen of Swords. So there's an air sign, a water sign, a Cancerian, a um, Libra or Gemini, and a Virgo. So you, they, this person has a top three, but when it comes to narrowing it down, it seems like there are different components to each individual that keeps this person having these, these uh, relationships open like this. Okay, so hopefully that resonates with you. But yeah, the Eight of Swords. Someone is severing ties somewhere where they don't feel like they can grow or they're feeling stifled. Yeah, someone's leaving. Someone's leaving to, to better themselves, okay? Because someone is very guarded, all right? So Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, please be sure to read the description box, reach out to me after that, as well as subscribing on my other channel, in which I will leave the link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.